Okay, and there's your glass of water. This is just a quick video of a bio sand filter I'm going to be making. Okay, I'm going to start with this bottle here. I'm going to cut the top off. And then we will put the gravel into about there. And maybe the sand to here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is put some gravel in there carefully. This is washed gravel. I want to make sure there's absolutely no dirt on it. So now we have the start of the biosand filter. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some sand on top of that. We're going to put this at about, uh, we're going to make this about three inches. Pack it down just a little. Here it is. A two layer biosand filter. I hope you can see that okay. Okay, so it's time to test out our biosand filter here. Let's do this the easy way. Wow, I thought that was going to be the easy way. running down a little stick that I put in there and dripping off into the glass. You could either use a straw or just like a little stick that the water runs down. Here's the dirty water I'm going to put in the biosand filter. It's cloudy, dirty. Let's put it in the biosand filter. See how it goes. I'm going to filter it over my hands here. It's starting to come out down at the bottom. Yeah, that water's way cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and swap this out with this glass here, so we'll pull this out of here. It's taking a little longer than I thought. Alright, so I don't know. What do you think? That might not be perfect, but it's sure damn close. That looks a lot cleaner to me. That is the biosand filter with a lot more sand in it. And that is the clean water. It mostly just gets rid of the turbidity. So that means that the water doesn't look as cloudy. It does take care and get rid of some of the parasites and uh, bacteria. But um, only some. So you're really going to want to make sure to heat this water after you do this. So it's like a two-stage process. First, biosand filter. And then heat up the water to 150 somehow. Um, I have three videos um, that show three different ways to do that. You can use a solar box cooker. You can use a parabolic solar cooker. You can use one of those uh, black garden hose water heaters. You can see that in the uh, video I have posted already. You only need to get this water to 150. When, once you get it to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to kill all living things in there. A lot of stuff actually dies at about 130 and a bunch more at 140, and basically the rest at 150, they consider water to be pasteurized at 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So there it is. That looks pretty good to me. By the way, the bottle was 75 cents. The sand I actually bought at a nursery for about $4. I live in a desert. I had to buy sand. What's up with that? So very inexpensive. Cleans the water pretty well. I won't say perfect, but it definitely cleans it pretty well. Eh, it's done. Nothing left in there. I just moved it up onto the ledge of the sink.